It's often said that we all have a destiny. The final piece in the parish collection might be said to have been the result of such a destiny, or a higher calling. I found in, in talking with Brad Parrish that he sees a lot more than I see. And I think maybe that might be true too when it uh, comes to looking at the ultimate sacrifice. He's working on a commission piece for a church and pretty much had it done. The pastor and his wife came to look at it and he still felt he needed to make some adjustments to it. Parrish labored through the night. Then came the unthinkable, chest pains. This was a pain that was just excruciating to the point that I had to, to stop painting and uh, sat down in a chair, clenching my chest and thinking immediately, who's going to take care of my family, who's going to take care of my kids. It scared me to the point that uh, I, I actually recalled all the things that I was going to do, and one of those being that I'd always promised that I would do a piece that would glorify my creator. When I woke up in the morning, you know, I was like, what, you just finished that piece, why are you working on another one so soon? That wasn't very characteristic of him. He said, this is something I need to do. The ultimate sacrifice is a very personal statement to say, here are my fingerprints, here's my involvement in this event. I was putting myself in the position of someone who could crucify him. It's an emotional piece. It gets to you. If you really get into it, you'll believe he is living in that picture. If there's anything we need in our world today, I think it's something to make our faith meaningful to the next generation. This was the piece for me that if if I hadn't painted anything else in my life, if I died tomorrow, at least I painted this piece.